With one announcement, Vladimir Putin left the world asking, would he? I'm ordering the Minister of Defence and the Chief of the General Staff to put the strategic nuclear forces on special alert. Russia has the biggest nuclear arsenal in the world and Putin wouldn't be the first leader to give the order. In 1945, the US dropped two nuclear weapons on Japan. They effectively ended the Second World War and killed over 100,000 people. In 1949, the Soviet Union tested a bomb at this test site in what is now Kazakhstan. Then, in 1962, the Cuban Missile Crisis almost brought nuclear war between the US and Russia. And having come so close, in 1968, the world agreed a new arrangement, the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty. 191 countries are currently signed up. Nuclear powers agreed to reduce their arsenals. In exchange, others agreed not to have them at all. And in the 70s, the deals between the US and Russia continued. Two more focused on long-range missiles. And though the rivalry of these superpowers intensified, in 1991, there was the New START Treaty. It aimed to decrease the size of their overall arsenals. And underpinning the West's justification for these weapons is an idea called nuclear deterrence. The UK government fact sheet states that potential aggressors know that the costs of attacking the UK or our NATO allies could far outweigh any benefit they could hope to achieve. The possibility of mutually assured destruction being the strongest of reasons not to press the button. That's the theory, but it's under pressure. This week, the former Russian president, Dmitry Medvedev, warned it may pull out of the New START deal. And both countries still have huge arsenals. America has an estimated 5,428 weapons, Russia an estimated 5,977, all of which is why we're looking to history and the present. It's not the first time this has happened. It's happened several times during the Cold War. Um, it never, of course, led to nuclear war, but um, I can't see how this is a, a positive development for the Ukraine crisis. That is perhaps an understatement. And today, Russia blamed various comments by the West for its nuclear escalation. The Kremlin spokesperson said, we believe such statements are absolutely unacceptable. I would not call the authors of these statements by name, although it was the British foreign minister. Now, it seems unlikely that one comment by Liz Truss is the reason Putin feels the need to flex his military muscles. His troops are on day five of this war. Kiev hasn't fallen, the West has united, and so he raises the stakes. This is a reminder of, you know, almost Soviet era brinksmanship, nuclear brinksmanship, like we had at the height of the Cold War. But the question is, you know, what is the strategy here? What is the end game? And I wonder if Putin actually understands that or knows that. We can't know that, but we know Putin's shown scant regard for human lives and international rules. And we know he has the weapons.